rarely, rarely do we see policy changes where everyone is on board, where activists, industry, politicians, and Canadians all agree. Today is one of those rare days, and it is worth celebrating. Like many of us here today, Canadians are also concerned about the well-being of animals. In fact, about 90% of Canadians support the prohibition of animal testing for cosmetics. Les essais de cosmétiques sur les animaux ont beaucoup diminué au cours des dernières années partout dans le monde, et nous suivons maintenant l'exemple de 41, 43 autres pays qui ont déjà pris des mesures afin d'interdire l'expérimentation sur les animaux pour les cosmétiques. Aujourd'hui, le Canada est fier de se joindre à eux. Today, Canada joins 43 other countries who have taken measures to ban cosmetic animal testing. Indeed, our government has now passed legislation banning the testing of cosmetic products on animals in Canada. With the passing of Bill C-47 late last week, the Food and Drugs Act has been amended to ban cosmetic animal testing. This means that it is now prohibited to test cosmetics on animals in Canada. Companies will no longer be able to sell cosmetics that rely on animal testing data to establish product safety, and it is now prohibited to create false or misleading statements concerning the testing of, of cosmetics on animals. Today's announcement shows that we have reached a point where we can fulfill safety requirements for cosmetics without resorting to animal testing and without compromising the health and safety of Canadians. That will also increase the confidence of Canadians in the use of cosmetics and facilitate trade with countries with similar measures. In conclusion, let me express the most important message, which is our gratitude to animal advocacy groups and the cosmetics industry, which have been actively championing this cause for over a decade. And it is through your collective efforts and commitment and patience that we have reached this milestone. This is a prime example of the power of collaboration in leadership and shared values in driving positive change in this country. Compassion and progress can and will coexist. I thank you all for your commitment to this important issue and congratulate all for this important success. Merci. Thank you.